It's no surprise that Venice is thought to be one of the most romantic towns in the world. Its famous canals, pretty gondolas, and winding streets make it even more so. People on vacation love the city, but cruise ships and backpackers also go there in large numbers. The reason should be clear. If you don't think so, that we could change your mind with this video. Just make sure you watch to the end. This guide to Venice will help you avoid the crowds, save money, and get the most out of your trip to this famous city in Italy. Number 1. Visit the Basilica San Marco. In the Piazza San Marco, you can find St. Mark's Basilica, which is dedicated to the city's patron saint. There has been a church here since 820 CE, but the modern basilica wasn't built until 1063. It has beautiful mosaics from the 11th century, walls made of marble, figures, and five Byzantine domes covered in gold. Some of St. Mark's bones are also said to be in the high altar. To get into the church, you can choose from different types of combined entrance tickets based on which sites you want to see. The complete basilica ticket lets you skip the line to get into the basilica, Polidaro, the Golden Altar, the Museum, and Loggia Cavalli, the deck with views and other exhibits. Number 2. Walk over the Rialto Bridge. The Rialto Bridge was the only way to get from one side of the Grand Canal to the other for hundreds of years. Here it is now, one of four bridges crossing it. It was first built as a floating bridge in the 1100s so that people could get to the Rialto market more easily, which is where the name of the bridge comes from. Antonio de Ponte built the current bridge, which was finished in 1591. The whole bridge is made of Istrian stone, and at its narrowest point it crosses the Grand Canal to join the neighborhoods of San Polo and San Marco. You should come at dawn to avoid crowds. Number 3. See the Doge's Palace. Doge's Palace, which is in St. Mark's Square, is one of the most famous buildings in Venice. It was the home of the Duke who ruled Venice. The huge building was first constructed in the 14th century in the Venetian Gothic style. It has been fixed up, added onto, and changed many times since then. Inside, there is art, embellished ceilings, and an armory. You can also go down into the jails and cross the well-known Bridge of Sighs. Number 4. A Tin Carnival. Carnival is 10 days of crazy mask-wearing fun in February, right before Mardi Gras, which is the day before Ash Wednesday. The custom goes back hundreds of years, from the 12th century to the 18th century, when it was at its most popular. It stopped for almost 200 years, beginning in 1798, when Austrians ruled the city and masks were not allowed. Carnival didn't start up again until 1979. Many millions of people go every year, making it one of the biggest events in Italy. Masks of all shapes and sizes are an important part of the celebrations, and there is a contest every year to see who can make the most beautiful mask. You should book your lodging early because the city gets full months in advance. Number 5. Day Trip to Burano From the main island, this island is a great day trip, and it's not nearly as busy. The buildings in Burano are known for being brightly colored. In fact, the government controls how houses are painted on this island to keep its past and charm. Walk around the streets and look at all the art galleries and shops. There's even a bell tower that leans like the one in Pisa. Number 6. Walk around the Piazza San Marco. This is Venice's most famous and biggest piazza. People in Venice have long loved getting together in the big square, which is home to many of the city's most important landmarks, such as the Basilica and its bell tower, the Doge's Palace, and the National Archaeological Museum. All of these places can be seen with one Piazza San Marco ticket. When you see the piazza from the water, it's most amazing because you can fully understand how big and old these buildings are. Number 7. Go to Lido Island. In order to get away from the city, Lido is a nearby island where people go to enjoy the beach. There are restaurants, cafes, bars, and a lot of beautiful rivers here. The Venice Film Festival is the oldest and one of the most important film festivals in the world. It takes place every August on Lido and brings together famous movie stars. And it's not far away, Lido is just a 20-minute Vaporetto ride away. Number 8. Visit Murano Island. The famous Murano glassblowers live on this island, which is close to Venice. Since 1291, they have been making complex glassworks here. Even though Murano is full of expensive souvenirs, watching how glass is blown can still be a fun and interesting afternoon. The Murano Glass Factory covers the demonstration of glass blowing and a walk of the factory with a guide. Number 9. Take a look around the Rialto Market. This market has been around for 700 years and is the largest one in Venice. 
It is a big food market with many types of meat, fruit, and fish. To see all the action, go early in the morning, before the market gets crowded with tourists. The market is in the part of Venice called San Polo, northwest of the Rialto Bridge. Number 10. Tour the Peggy Guggentime Collection In her old home on the banks of the Grand Canal, Peggy Guggentime has put together her own collection of art. They have a huge, cutting-edge collection of art for more than 200 artists. This is worth a visit even if modern art isn't your favorite type of art. There are many works by surrealists, abstract expressionists, and Italian futurists that are worth seeing. There is also an art garden outside. Number 11. Climb the Campanile di San Marco This tower in Piazza San Marco was built in 1912 and is a copy of the original bell tower of St. Mark, which was built in the 1600s and fell down in 1902. It's the biggest building in Venice, at almost 100 meters high. Watchmen could see ships coming and going from the city when the tower was first built as a defense structure. You can climb up through the workings and get a view of the whole city. Number 12. Go on a food tour. Take a food tour to learn more about the history and culture behind the food in Venice. You can try the best food in Venice and learn about what makes the food there special while eating your way around the city. Gourmet local guides lead in F food walks through devour walks that teach you about the history and culture of food. If you like food and want to know more about the culture and background behind each dish, these tours are for you. Number 13. Go to the National Museum of Archaeology. It was built in 1523 by Domenico Grimani, an Italian lord and cardinal. Greek statues, Roman busts, funerary stele, and other artifacts from as far back as the 1st century BCE are kept in the National Archaeological Museum, which isn't very big. The combined museums of Piazza San Marco ticket lets you into the Doge's Palace, the National Archaeological Museum, and the grand rooms of the Marciana National Library. Number 14. Visit the Career Civic Museum. The Career Civic Museum has a huge collection of art and artifacts that show the past of the city. It also has things from the homes of former royals, such as Napoleon Bonaparte, the frescoes, old maps, statues, religious works, and other things here are fun to look at for hours. Number 15. Explore the Jewish Ghetto. The Jewish Ghetto is an area in Venice that is in the Northwest. People think it was the first ghetto in the world. It was built in 1516 when the city's Jewish community was forced to move here. They could only go outside during the day. At night, they were locked up and heavily watched. The Jewish ghetto has a troubled past, but it is now full of shops, restaurants, museums, and churches. There's a lot to do there, but people don't usually go there. And there you have it, our whirlwind tour of Venice, Italy. But before we say Arrivederci, let's keep the conversation going. Which of these Venice attractions left you daydreaming the most? Ever tried to imitate a gondolier's rowing style, or perhaps a Venetian dance move? Share your stories in the comments section. Do you have a travel tip or Venice hack that we didn't mention? Spill the Venetian beans. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel.